hello everybody welcome back in last video I talked about this demo.filament.php how these actions are so slow let me display once again if I hit edit here it's it takes forever to load this model right so in this video I will uh, propose a solution for this so in order to solve that uh, for simple things you can use uh, default actions given by filament but if you are your table is a little bit complex and there are a lot of queries going on to load these then if you want good performance then I suggest you use this wire model component wire model package to load all model and even you can perform actions using these so first off uh, let's install this so in order to install that first I will require this into my application so basic steps or well, one thing you need to do is uh, make sure you publish this config we'll be doing something so I have this uh, default uh, very, very basic filament app with users a lot of users loaded you can see there are uh, over two, 200 users and this delete is uh, the default action let me show you my setup first so uh, I have set up filament and I have generated user resource and there are uh, these basic columns and this is the action default uh, table action let's see if I try to load this you can see there's a lot of time it is taking over two seconds in server it will take more there we go sometimes it, it doesn't work right so in order to solve that we'll first install that uh, wire let's go over and copy this just install that I have already installed that and make sure you publish this config file just go over this so let's go over that config we need to do few changes there wire model there we go so in your case this if you are not using tailwind then by default it is false you need to make it true if you are not using tail, tailwind uh, otherwise model won't load up due to lack of CSS so if not using tailwind just make it true all right that's it and next step is to put this component in your layout file but in case of filament there is no layout file where you can put uh, there is um, one render hook where you need to put that so here in configuration section there is a render hook they even give this example of this exact wire model so let's go and copy this so this render hook will put this component at body start all right so let's go over to admin panel provider and go over and just paste it there make sure to rename it if you are copying from this documentation they no longer call it laravel ui model instead uh, after upgrading to latest version they suggest uh, they renamed it to like wire element model so wire elements model now our setup step is complete regarding this wire model in our application we have now wire model let's go ahead and create one custom action filament action let's head over to user resource again so here you can see I have added this action table actions and instead of uh, performing any actions like before what I'm doing is just loading a view which is located at filament dot nodes which I have created new file I have created this new file over here in this location just to save some time you don't have to watch me type all these 
so here I have put uh, one simple button I have cut that code out which I will put in a moment so this simple notes uh, let's say no simple one let's load there we go so we are rendering this button and whenever someone clicks on this button we want to show uh, our custom model so in order to generate that you just need to generate a live wire component let me go ahead and generate that PSP artisan make live wire I will call it notes model or you can call it anything let me call it notes all right so now our notes live wire component is created so what you need to do is just replace it with model component which is provided by model live wire UI model that's it and here you can uh, put anything here like forms or you can uh, use um, you can go over and check how you can use filament on live wire component and you can use filament form components here as well for now I will just do nodes here and let's head over to this plate file and whenever user clicks on this button we want to load our newly created this component all right so in order to do that what we need to do is there we go on click uh, I have copied it from here here we go so there are three ways you can uh, trigger this if you are using inside live wire component you can dispatch this but I'm not inside live wire component right I'm just in blade view file so I will use this uh, live wire dispatch so when you install filament or from breeze uh, starter template uh, you can get a live wire by default already installed uh, in filament also you get live wire installed so you will have access to this object and that's what we are gonna do live wire dot dispatch and open model and name of component is notes see this is the name of component now whenever we click on this notes button we should uh, we are telling that open this component you can also pass arguments here arguments here um, which is object of anything like note ID and you can load blade view here so you can explore documentation uh, regarding this uh, I'm just demonstrating how you can um, make this action more performant uh, for some reason um, for some reason my CSS broke uh, let me take a look okay we're back now when I click on this you can see notes here loads instantly you can see over network request for simple models like this it's open in 100 milliseconds whereas the live wire uh, filament model look it takes almost over two seconds almost two seconds in server it will take more right so I'm loading 200 uh, it doesn't matter whether I load 200 um, or just 10 it uh, performs constantly right so this is a great option you can explore this um, and there are many things we can do many events uh, that we can fire on close on things um, if I keep exploring everything here the video will be longer so if you are interested I will create a separate video with it if you have any questions uh, you can ask on comment section I am happy to help you so hope you like this video I will see you on, see you on another video bye